how many of you have not heard of a self-directed IRA? Just a couple. So it's becoming more popular. Self-directed IRA is simply an IRA where you can invest in almost anything. There's only a couple of restrictions. Two, life insurance and collectibles. But you know what? You could buy tax liens, judgments, you could lend money on properties, or you could buy real estate. And, well, let's back up. If you have money in the IRA, one way you could do it is just buy the property with your IRA. That's easy. You have the money, buy it. But you could also get loans. Now, this is a non-recourse loan. See, the government wants to protect your retirement account. They don't let you contribute very much each, month, each year, which really drives me crazy. They don't want you to save very fast, but they want to protect it. So if you file bankruptcy, your IRA is protected. If you get sued, your IRA is protected. And if you sign on a loan, you're personally not liable because your IRA is a separate entity from you. So there's no recourse to you for taking out a loan in your IRA. Here's the guidelines. There's one lender in the state, which is probably the best, and there's two nationals. First Bank in Colorado will do non-recourse IRA loans. But they qualify for some weird reason. They qualify you and the deal. But you, there's no recourse to you. I haven't quite understood that. The national guys, they don't care about you. I brokered one of these about a year and a half ago. 450 credit score just out of a foreclosure and the deal closed. The guidelines, 70% LTV loan to value or less. Okay, DSCR, debt service coverage ratio. This is a term in commercial. I don't care how sweet you are. How sweet is your deal? Does your deal perform? Is it going to bring enough cash flow to service that debt? That's what they're looking for. And they want to see some reserves. See, because you can't contribute very much to your IRA, they want to make sure there's enough reserves so in case something happens, you have the cash to handle it. I promised you I'd sit on stage, and I'm not living up to that promise. <clears throat> Financing other deals with your IRAs. You could become the bank. About 30% 30, 30 of the people that invest with us use IRA money to make loans. <clears throat> okay, it's secure, pretty high returns. If you could loan someone money out of your IRA, what else can you do? Borrow. borrow. If you could loan somebody, can't you borrow from somebody? If you have a sweet deal and someone has some IRA cash, do you think maybe they would loan you enough to buy it and fix it up? Everybody go like this. Yes. If you could sell the deal to them. You know, they're going to go into a senior lien position probably in a really strong deal. I consider that low risk. I'm sure you disagree. <laughs> I'm sure some of you disagree. But yes, you could find someone to loan you 100% of your deal and you don't need any money. Okay, so you could borrow from or partner with. I'm going to take just a minute to talk about our happy hour. Let me ask this first. How many of you have been to one of our happy hours? Okay, what's the feedback? Okay, so what we do, the third Tuesday of each month in Denver, there's one in the Colorado Springs also, the third Tuesday of each month at Red and Jerry's on Oxford and Santa Fe, we get together and we talk about real estate. We have a few drinks. We might have dinner or appetizer. We bring in a speaker for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. And then we have a discussion about what's going on and what's working today. It's up-to-date content, no sales. <clears throat> so the reason I bring that up is, what month are we in? October? November, Intrust, 
who is a self-directed IRA administrator, is going to come and talk to us about self-directed IRAs. And we're going to talk a lot about borrowing from and partnering with, how to get your deals done. Okay, so pinefinancialblog.com, and there's a free events tab, and you can get more information on when the happy hours are. In fact, Tuesday, this Tuesday is the next one, and we're talking about tax liens with Mr. Tax Lien, who happens to be in the crowd. So come Tuesday also. Okay, so I know I just cruised through that, and we have time, so let's take some questions about IRAs. speaking of Roth or traditional? The question is, do I speak of Roth or traditional? I'm actually speaking of both, and I'm speaking about SEPs and self-directed 401ks. Any kind of tax shelter retirement account can be self-directed. How long does it take to close? How long does it take to close? Can you clarify close what? If you're buying a property? Buying a property with self-directed IRA money. That would probably be a better question for interest, but my experience tells me you could do it in a couple of weeks. We do a lot of, lot of business with interest, and we can do it even faster. Charles says no. Okay. There's another big one we do a lot of business with, too, equity trust. A little cheaper, probably, than interest, but I think it's going to slow the process. So if you're worried about speed, that maybe that's something that you, a question you would ask before you decide on an administrator. I just want to answer back we closed using IRA in three days. Three days. And there's different types of retirement structures. Your retirement, and I don't want to get into too much detail here, but your retirement account can invest in a company that you manage. The money goes into a checking account which you control. You can close in one day. Any other questions? Yes, in the back. The entire purchase price doesn't have to come from the IRA, correct? Well, it depends. Are you financing it totally with your IRA or are you getting a loan? If you're getting a loan, no, then just 30% plus costs. The, I'm sorry, the question was, what was the question? <laughs> Does the full amount of the money have to come from your IRA? 